The pouch is one of the common drug containers for dispensing used in many countries. Countries like South Korea, Japan, the United States, and many European countries are using pouch to improve medication compliance and help pharmacies manage patient care efficiently and accurately. Of course, each country calls pouch with different names. Some call pouch strip packaging and other call pouch sachet. Pouch has many names in different languages. Here are two types of pouch dispensing, multi-dose and unit-dose. Multi-dose pouch refers to a pouch that has more than one tablet because all the medication you take at a time are packed in one pouch, it definitely improves medication adherence. On the other hand, unit-dose pouch means one tablet is packed one pouch. Hospitals in many countries use unit dose pouch to store individual tablets for closed loop medication management. Pouch packaging benefits not only pharmacies and hospitals but also patients. For pharmacies, pharmacists can dispense medicine accurately and hygienically using automation. By automating dispensing work, pharmacists can spend more quality time with patients, guiding patients and enhancing pharmaceutical care. Hospitals use unit dose pouch for closed loop medication management. Hospital pharmacies prepare unit dose pouch and store prepared pouches in dispensing cabinets. Medication information such as expiration date and lot number can be printed on each pouch. Hospitals can manage the inventory from warehouse to patient by barcode systems and also manage the right medicine to the right patient at the right time. Patients can also benefit from a pouch. It's very convenient as patients do not have to sort medication and it's very helpful for patients to take the right medication at the right time. In a sense, pouches help patients and their families save time to prepare medications and improve medication compliance. Each country has its own set of regulations when it comes down to degree swing. So, we recommend our customers comply with the regulations of each country. Repacking drug is allowed in South Korea, Japan, the United States, Canada, in Netherlands, Norway, and the UK. Also, debris storing by pharmacies is allowed. For some countries, Debris storing of medicine from primary packaging is only allowed under certain conditions. For example, pharmacists may have to monitor the debris storing process, and maybe debris storing can be only done in a specific area. For example, in Germany, a separate clean room is required. Also, managing the clean room should be done according to the set guidelines. Sure, before we do debris storing, we have to keep two things in mind. First, the physical chemical properties of the medicine. If a medicine is sensitive to light or moisture, we recommend not to open it, because it can potentially affect the drug efficacy and safety. To get the kind of information, you can see the drug insert. And second, the safety of operators. We suggest not to open any cytotoxic agent, corrosive drugs, and medications that may affect the fetus. But if you still need to open them, please use personal protective equipment in safe and clean place. Yes. Depending on the workflow and the workload, the automating machines can help pharmacies 
save time to prepare dispensing. This also promotes clean dispensing. For example, we offer a degree sewing machine called DB30. By just pressing a button, degree sewing can be done quickly and the tablets are dropped into the tray in the bottom. This is especially safe for all users. Of course, not every tablet type can be deblistered with deblistering machines. Depending on the size, tray, spacing of the drug on the PTP packaging, some medication may not be handled with the machines. Still, we can guide our users to optimize workflows. First, we need to talk about the place where the pouch packaging is installed, typically a hospital or a pharmacy. Start by controlling the environment of this place. Room humidity and temperature should be managed according to the regulations. That's where we start. Second, when we open the primary packaging to fill the canister, we need to check the expiration date and storage conditions. You just need to ensure medicine is managed properly. Also, the canister is made of plastic that complies with the pharmacopoeia for drug containers because the drug is in direct contact. For your information, there is no opening for outside air to enter, but it is a not a shield container or airtight container defined in pharmaceutical act. So, we place a dry sheet inside to help with potential moisture. Dry sheet should be replaced every six months. Generally, we recommend users not go over a three month period of storing time once medication are degree sold. Generally, we do not recommend removing licensed tip medication from its primary packaging. But if you need to dispense in pouch, we can offer canisters that are light resistant. Also, try to shorten the time from deblistering to canister filling. And working in a dark space is also helpful. Of course, we can enter both expiration date and lot number when registering medicine into our software system. If a hospital or a pharmacy require internal lot number and expiration date, software can also track them for safe dispensing. There are many types of the pouch packages, manual type, semi-autotype, and full autotype. Depending on the type, the dispensing method can vary. However, generally, yes. Special tablet and half tablet can be easily dispensed if you choose a full autotype that has canisters. For dispensing special shaped drug, there are three options we can use. First, Normal canisters. Our technology can dispense most of the special shapes, such as pentagons, hexagons, and even snowman shaped tablets. Second, auto canister. Say that you need to dispense drugs with special shape, and maybe a normal canister cannot handle them. If so, auto canisters come in handy. The last option is the STS tray. For special tablets that need to be handled carefully, you can do tray dispensing. We do not suggest to put soft capsule in canister to prevent any contamination and damage, but I'd like to suggest a more reasonable way. If the soft capsule comes in a bottle from a manufacturer, You can store them in canister. Of course, you need to manage humidity and temperature carefully. On the other hand, 
If the soup to catch you coming, it be packaging. Is this tray dispensing is better?